Hey guys, uh, another video about uh, the altcoins and, and proof of stake because <clears throat> I've been talking a lot about that in the past, uh, but um, up until today it has not been uh, it has not been uh, recognized as valuable in I in the cryptocurrency community. Uh, there are some coins, uh, proof of stake coins, of course, NXT order clumps but also a shadow cash for example that offers privacy and, uh, and is a proof of stake coin uh, and some others NAM of course is valued uh, is in the top 10 for a year now um, and then uh, who else do we have uh, of course peer coin it's been dropping and this was the first uh, proof of stake coin uh, a mix of proof of work and proof of stake it was decrypt of course has gone up a lot in value now and is also a mix of proof of work and proof of stake dash is not a mix uh, dash is pure proof of work 100 um, percent uh, this is very important to realize because every proof of work coin has low security um, and that's very important to realize that as the inflation goes down the security goes down too for that coin and is becomes highly decentralized if it is successful monero for example uh, and dash will have very very centralized um, uh, 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 farms if it grows a lot uh, like bitcoin and the, and this gives a, a very big vulnerability to a cryptocurrency uh, because the moment it's centralized in in validation in miners in validators then it can also be censored eh? centralized means easily censored and so a privacy coin like Monero that's a big problem that it's proof of work because it will become very centralized and that's unavoidable some people there has been many many uh, trials to create a proof of work coin that is cannot be centralized but I don't believe that's possible until someone proves me that I'm wrong and sooner or later that may happen but there are much better solutions to create something that cannot be centralized um, because proof of work eh, is processing power and processing power if you scale that up it becomes more centralized and so uh, if you scale that up you become more um, competitive and that's why it becomes more centralized uh, and that's always the case with processing power because um, yeah it's just uh, processors are running and if you scale that up and you make a farm you're gonna do that cheaper eh? and then it's also very dependent on electricity costs and so it's also gonna centralize not to just a few players but to just a few pl players located in just a few locations in the world where you have the cheapest electricity so um that's logical um so that's why i really like proof of stake uh, because um you don't have to pr process you don't have to prove that you have a lot of processing power to uh, to do to validate transaction you just have to prove that you have a stake which is for, of course much easier to prove it doesn't require energy uh, and um, and and um, uh, much I uh, just a little uh, and the competition is for to have as much stake as possible which pushes up the value of the coin but very surprisingly this has not uh, catched on um, because of course proof of stake has also weaknesses and and the proof of workers will quickly point them out but they never point out uh, the weaknesses of proof of work both of both have weaknesses and both have strengths and, and so what you do see is that those that mix proof of work and proof of stake have done well peercoin actually did not do well there was the first one to do that but decrypt is doing very well um, and so maybe that's the future that we, where, where we have a mix of both but just a proof of work coin I don't think is, is a good idea but uh, Zcash for example is also just proof of work so um, but but that's why I make this video because I think uh, the opportunity is there in the proof of stake uh, you really should value that higher in your portfolio because it, 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 it's greatly undervalued uh, in the market and so you can get them very cheaply that's for all the proof of stake coins um, uh, uh, the 100% ones and the mixed ones uh, with the exception of Decrypt that just went up quite a lot uh, but and of course Shadow Cash also went up uh, but uh, that's why I think uh, NXT Order, Clam and some others too I'm sorry I don't mention them because I don't know them but of course NAM it's also the case but I don't know the story about NAM but just in general I think uh, 
put a piece in, in, in the proof of stake coins is, is definitely worth it because it's valued 100 times less than proof of work coins. Uh, but um, but to, it is the only alternative uh, system that I understand and, and have to agree with that it will lead to more decentralization instead of less over time. Eh? Because if the coin grows, more and more people will have coins and so more, more people will validate transactions. Eh? And, and, and so that's how you get really a decentralized cryptocurrency with proof of stake. You, you can't get that with proof of work, but you can get it with proof of stake. Um, so um, <clears throat> when it comes to validation of uh, transactions and also the cost is very important. Um, uh, the cost remains uh, extremely low while security remains very high uh, in contrast to um, proof of work coins where the security goes down as it goes up in value, but as the inflation goes down, the security goes, goes down even more, and, and so that's a big problem. So, so since nobody talks about it, because I was really wrong uh, two years ago to not recognize privacy as a big team. I didn't value it. Uh, I, I, I did value it, but I thought that the market would not value it, and uh, that privacy was not valued by the market. I was really wrong. I should have invested in privacy coins then instead of efficiency coins because proof of stake to me is just efficiency eh? uh, and also security eh? um, but you see it's much more uh, eh? because it's security and then it also leads to decentralization and it also leads to uncensorability eh? not censorable um, so but but this but of course the first thing you need as a coin is adoption and, and, and the market will value privacy more over efficiency in the beginning um, because the efficiency if it's paid by inflation is not uh, carried by the user um, and so so that's why I should have just valued if, uh, privacy coins a lot more at the time I should have invested in Monero and, um, and some other privacy coins that were a lot smaller at the time, like Shadow Cash, I also considered investing, is a lot higher today, I didn't. Um, but of course today, privacy coins have been valued, uh, they can go up a lot versus Bitcoin, that's for sure. But uh, what you need, the big challenge is to invest in themes that are not hot yet. And uh, I think a possible team uh, for the future can become uh, proof of stake coins or just scalability. Scalability is an issue. But you don't see people investing in coins that offer a solution yet. Eh? People don't look for scalable coins, they look for privacy coins. But they may one day start to look for scalable coins. And who are the scalable ones? Well, uh, those are the ones that um, have a different architecture and proof of work. And so it's the proof of stake coins that will come up. But also the new technology, the Tangle. Um, technology, IOTA, Byteball, uh, these two uh, have, uh, have a, a different, uh, again, a different approach and proof of stake. And I think those are also very interesting. That's why I invest in Byteball today, because I got some free coins, but, um, but I think the value is very high, five, five million market cap. Its only competitor is IOTA. It's valued at 30 million market cap. And um, IOTA is not even targeting uh, human to human uh, money transfers. So basically, Byteball is the only player day there with this, using this new technology. And I, this new technology I like very much. The only thing I don't like about Byteball is the centralization. It's set up very centralized, as I mentioned before. And so only 10 witnesses, witnesses that probably in the end uh, have the, I, the, hold the power to validate transactions uh, or the final power. So I think that's not a great solution uh, that Byteball has chosen. But it may be enough because I do think that decentralization become, will become less important if the market continues to be um, not outlawed. Uh, you will get more and more centralized coins because in the end, yeah, that, that's the biggest reason why you want decentralization because you're afraid of the government clamping down on you. But if that's as long as uh, if it continues, hey, the longer it, uh, it is uh, allowed to cryptocurrencies by governments, the, the, the less it becomes an, an issue to build it out in a decentralized way. So, Byteball goes a step in that direction. And, and that's why I think Bitcoin 
actually shouldn't worry about its centralization problem uh, and should indeed scale on chain and should uh, allow the transaction fees to be low uh, and um, and indeed as a consequence uh, the amount of nodes uh, would go down compared to the value of Bitcoin as are the amount of mining farms go down compared to the value of Bitcoin but I think that's not a problem because Bitcoin does not have the risk to be attacked uh, I, the longer it, it's allowed to exist the, the lower the risk becomes that the government will clamp down on it and, and so the more centralized it can become um, but um, Yeah, for, for, for really privacy coins, actually, decentralization continues to be important because the legal legal the legal situation is not certain there. There can there is actually still a high chance there that you will get clamp downs on them, and so then decentralization becomes important. Hence, why I think both Monero and Zcash um, have a problem uh, with their proof of work uh, setup and uh, should well Zcash less eh? because. Legally, it could not have a problem because it's not mixing coins, but Monero is. Uh, but maybe yeah, Shadow Cash, and if there are other proof of stake coins that do uh, offer privacy, please let us know in the comments below. Because I know I only know Shadow Cash, and what I don't like about them is that they are focused on building a a um, a, um, a, a, a also a market uh, integrated in their coin, uh, which will be very difficult. Uh, because you will get outload products on there and I see a legal problem there for them. Uh, I think you should only focus on the coin. That's why I decided not to invest in them, but now the price has gone up. I don't know if it's wise to invest now, but maybe you know uh, uh, proof of stake coins that are private, focused on privacy that I think can be an interesting investment. Please let us know in the comments. Um, but so Byteball, uh, it's not a proof of stake solution, but uh, it's it's uh, it drops basically the blockchain. It drops the whole idea that you have to keep a history of all transactions. No, it only keeps the latest history, shares that among peers, and and uh, and that way it can um, um, scale much easier because there is no one that needs to keep track of the whole blockchain. Um, I so. Um, and also it offers a privacy solution I like that very much about Byteball uh, that you can do transactions different transactions that are not registered on the wide blockchain but only between the peers it's called uh, you have uh, Byteball you have uh, Bytes and you have Black Bytes Bytes are to pay normally but Black Bytes are to pay in private way so I really like that uh, approach so so yeah um, but everything depends on the developer. Eh? Uh, we will see what he does, Tony. Uh, it's really developer can really build a coin or or, 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 or or destroy it. It's really just like startups. You're really fully dependent on the founder uh, that holds the power to to make it happen or not as an investor. And so that's why you shouldn't go um, invest too much. Just but do invest some if. If they, are t if they have been doing things right up until today, uh, and Tony certainly has. Um, so yeah, that was it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like the video if you liked it, share it with your friends. Um, I think uh, among the cryptocurrencies, Byteball has not gone up too much yet, uh, which is uh, not... And the timing could be very good. Eh? Uh, these things could all altcoins can go up a lot more uh, over the coming time. So this too, I think. Bye, guys.